Hey, what's going on, everyone? Uh, it's Ryan, aka Lucky. Everyone calls me Lucky Cracks Packs. And on today's video, I wanted to make a official announcement. Uh, we are now going to be starting a rip and ship arc within uh, our YouTube channel and the videos that we make. And essentially, it's going to talk about just a lot of the experiences that I have had while doing rip and ship over the last two to two and a half years now and we have been <clears throat> really excited to to put this together i've been meaning to take the time and really start developing our youtube channel so this is kind of like our intro of uh you know ex for you guys to expect more consistent content to be coming out on youtube uh, that's really been my biggest uh objective for 2023 some of my new year's resolutions and goals so I wanted to start it out by saying, hey, um, you know, we're going to be talking about uh, all these kinds of different things related to running your own rip and ship, um, kind of some things that I've done, some things that I've seen, some things that I don't think you should be doing, or perhaps uh, some things you really should be doing. You know, we'll talk about how, how, you know, to make sales, how to grow a channel, how to build your websites, um, and really just all of the things that come together to create a successful rip and ship. Uh, and for those of you who may not know, rip and ship stands for uh, rip and packs and shipping the cards out to your customers. And I'm also gonna go over, uh, you know, how I source product, uh, how I end up shipping out, actually ship the product to your customers and clients, you know, once they do make sales on, on your channel. Uh, and then really just kind of how to go about building a community uh, through tools like social media and Discord especially. So if you guys are big time fans of, you know, TCG's trading card games, um, especially, uh, you know, poke on the Pokemon side or the, the One Piece side, as I'm just now starting to dabble into, you guys are really going to want to sit down, uh, take a few minutes, you know, and watch these videos. I think the, the insight that I will be providing will be very helpful uh, for those of you who want to get involved in this as I've had many, many people, um, you know, go to this after talking to me or all kinds of different ways that they've gotten, they've gotten involved since meeting me. So um, I guess for today's video, where, where, where we're going to start off is Putting together the right culture, the right community, building building the foundation for your rip and ships, right? And I know that a lot of people wanna <clears throat> are gonna just start naming off. Well, you need a website. You need all that. You know, you need to get. You gotta source out your people. You gotta uh, make sure you have your products. Make sure you have your supplies. You know, all that kind of stuff, right? But I think it's most important that we start with a community. We start with, you know, building your network and just meeting people, right? And I know that's harder uh, or easier said than done, but it really does just start with creating your own Discord community. Uh, as a lot of you may or may not know, Discord is a program now, software that you can use on your phone or on you know your computer and it essentially is a multi um, functional software communicating software that you can talk to people through voice you can stream live video you can stream video games on there um, you can watch all kinds of things together uh, and then not and then not only through those channels but you can also like have text channels and you can send out pings and alerts and notifications uh, you can install your own chat bot or any other kind of bot that you can think of or, and or develop or find online, right? Um, Discord, when Discord was first released, I think about, you know, seven, eight years ago now, or at least that's when I first adopted it, I immediately recognized and understood the value of Discord. Um, see, I started using Discord back in the day uh, really as a means to replace Skype 
because all of my friends and I were big time gamers. We, we still are gamers. And, you know, we would have to Skype call each other or, you know, we didn't have a Ventrilo server at the time and we didn't really want to pay for it because we were just broke college students and, and high schoolers really even at that time. So we just didn't want Skype anymore. And we ended up moving to um, Discord because the quality was better. The interface was just much, much nicer. Um, and it really just kind of gave a more like this, you know, it was a very similar setup to Ventrilo in a way, but it, it was, it just, it was cleaner. Um, and I, I just fell in love with it immediately, you know? And then when I started my company, Cyber Gameway, I, I also recognized that through Discord, Discord is, you know, a virtual office where you can create multiple channels to talk about certain subjects or uh, have certain offices for people or employees or clients or whoever may want to come in and have sit down, chat, talk, work, whatever, you know, and what I started doing from the from the beginning was I built my discord out like a business. I put my everything about my company because so what we started off doing at Cyber Gameway back in the day was I was really just providing exposure and income generating opportunities for streamers and the ways that I did that was through providing uh, custom websites to streamers completely free. So I went out and I found a company that allowed me to, you know, do white labeling um, on this awesome um, like website uh, service they had, software service. And what it allowed me to do was I could build out, uh, you know, hundreds and hundred thousand, I mean, really infinite amount of websites if I were lucky enough to get that many users. And it allowed people to custom build their website exactly how they wanted it. I mean, with, within the parameters of, of the you know, capabilities of the software. But for the most part, for a lot of uh, streamers and just, you know, especially beginners, you know, it was plenty, it was plenty, plenty, plenty for them to have to learn and go through. And then obviously, like if they weren't so inclined, I also made like templates and stuff that was looking. But on these websites, they had the ability to market themselves, put out all their social channels, make a bio section, um, really make as many pages as they wanted on their website, talking about as many different aspects as they wanted. And then furthermore, they had the ability to design uh, list and sell their own branded merchandise directly from their website, you know, and it was, it was very quick and easy. They didn't have to touch anything. And guys, I didn't charge these people a dime. Ask anybody for the first three years I was doing it. I didn't get a credit card number from a single person. I was self-funded completely, um, through the you know the high the peaks of users and through the lowest of the lows of my users so i started my discord initially around helping people um and that's what i built my community then you know because of my background in just enjoying pgs which by the way you guys i grew up as a kid uh playing Yu-Gi-Oh primarily. I, I had Pokemon cards when I was young and stuff like that, but I had no idea how to play Pokemon. I was too young. I was like five, six years old. I had no one to show me how to play. You know, I wasn't like super, you know, it's not like the internet wasn't like how it is today where you could just Google it and it was there, you know? I don't even think Google was around at that time. So it definitely wasn't. And um, I, I, I really cut my teeth in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, when the when the game first started coming out, I was at my locals as a, you know, six or a, I would say, oh, I'd say probably like an eight, nine, ten year old kid um, playing at my weekly local tournament. Uh, I, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! It was my life. I mean, if I wasn't if I wasn't, you know, playing sports that weekend or I had some, you know, family event or something like that, I was with my best friend, Tony sleeping over we had a sleepover friday nights we'd get together we'd try and build our deck or test you know we'd be testing all night long and dude, we're like 10 years old doing this stuff like this is stuff that like i was also doing when i got back into Yu-Gi-Oh in college you know 
but like on a you know different level but we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh all night long hang out play video games get up on Saturday morning boom we're going to the we went to the the, to the card shop we got into the tournament we played there you know spent hours there every Saturday loved every moment of it and um that's that's really what I cut my teeth in with with the whole training card games you know as I got older I got into magic um and really just messed with magic and Yu-Gi-Oh primarily um as those were really just some of the most competitive game you know card games out there that I really enjoyed um and then you know what like I said I got back into uh when I went to college got back into Yu-Gi-Oh um I, you know I actually started competing in like regional events and stuff like that actually took it a little bit more seriously and I I loved it it was awesome uh, then you know graduated college I had to take a uh, take a step back from TCGs just because uh you know I had to get a job aka started working for myself or my dad and I we run an IT company together as well and we you know I was just focusing on that and you know we had our own challenges business wise too with with that um for many many years so I was working with that you know dealing with that and you know eventually um you know I met my wife we started we got engaged we were getting married um and I just said, you know, one day I just, I got the itch uh, to just start cracking packs again. I mean, I went probably like four or five years without opening a single pack or I really was just completely removed from it. Um, but like many of you guys, you know, that I am sure you know what that feels like to have that urge and that, that sensation come over you. You're like, man, I miss the whole TCG scene. I just miss the camaraderie of everybody meeting people, the socialness, um, having a good time, and ultimately like cracking packs, right? I just couldn't help myself. I had to continuously crack packs, and that's what I did. I I started off when Dark Darkness Ablaze just came out, Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze. It was right before the big hammer of COVID hit, and I got I started getting involved because. I noticed that TikTok, um, you know, started to morph from at this time. TikTok wasn't like just the the, the platform, the social platform for like like I noticed like a lot of furries were there at the time. There were a whole, and I'm sure they're still there, which is fine. And uh, like I noticed a lot of like people were like lip syncing and dancing at TikTok. Like this was very early, early TikTok. So. It was, you know, and things kind of started to move away from that. You know, we started seeing people do more of uh, other things, like, for example, opening packs of cards and just starting making content by ripping packs open. There weren't any ripping ships at this time on, on these uh, socials that I knew of that I found. And perhaps my circle was just super small at the time. Um, you know, perhaps I didn't do enough searching. Maybe there were. But I couldn't, I, I didn't see any. Only thing I saw were people just making TikTok videos, getting packs, opening them up for content and for fun to grow their channels. So what did I do? I loved that idea. I needed it. I had to get it in my life. So that's what I did. I started off my, my TikTok channel, um, you know, with Darkness Ablaze. I went to, uh, and, and when I started, I went to uh, one of my local Walmarts and Walmart at this time, had a two for one darkness ablaze pack there were two packs of this dark it was like a special thing it had two packs of darkness ablaze in it for five but are like 450 or whatever the msrp and i was just like oh wow um and obviously like with my background in tcg i knew that like cracking packs wasn't gonna be very financial smart but i didn't care I just wanted to open packs. I wanted to crack packs. So I go to Walmart. I notice they have this two for one pack deal on Darkness Ablaze. I clear the store out. I bought every single pack of Darkness Ablaze I could find from my Walmart. Um, I didn't go to my I didn't go to my local um, card shop to to buy the stuff yet. Um, I don't know. As I was just I was just getting back into it. You know, I wasn't quite ready to reintroduce myself into that scene. So I go, I get the packs, I come back home, I get my phone, my iPhone 6S dinosaur at the time, even then. And, you know, I just start recording. I, I get a phone stand. 
Um, I put it on my my uh, my desk, and boom, I'm ripping packs, making content. Anything I could find, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, anything that I really enjoyed. A little bit of magic, but I kind of, I've been away from magic. I'm not really too interested in magic anymore. You guys can find me live on my Rip and Ship channels Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time and 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We go live twice a day between, uh, you know, on those times. And you can find me on uh, Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash cybergameway and TikTok at Lucky Cracks Packs. So come on by. We're, we're live pretty often. Um, you should be able to come find us and come say hello. I also want to... Um, format these videos in a way that you guys can feel free to ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so please feel free uh, to ask me any questions in the description below. And as always, I uh, just want to say thank you to everyone for supporting the store, supporting myself, my family. Uh, I really do appreciate all of your uh, business, your support just for being in the live streams. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me. So I always want to just make sure I'm saying thank you you guys for uh you know 